guys, it's currently November 30th, 2017. We are doing a tarot card reading for the astrological sign Cancer, and this is for the month of December 2017. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, as well as subscribing to this channel. I very much appreciate it. Uh, feel free to just, yeah, put a little shout out if you like these, why, if you don't, please indicate why. I'm always looking for, um, like feedback so I know that I'm on the right path with this stuff as I feel very um, alone in this stuff if people aren't commenting because it kind of keeps me um, motivated. So um, writing is actually coming up very strongly for you guys in the month of December. I see you um, just writing things out like um, if you have so I'm, I was saying like Mrs. Claus, like uh, <laughs> Santa Claus, because with a little feather pen, um, I'm feeling like little notes this month are really helpful. So leaving a note to Santa, writing a letter to Santa, that sort of thing. So working with children is very positive for you guys this month. It will bring you a lot of joy and using your imagination, that sort of thing. Um, taking really good care of your health this month is also very important. Uh, for certain people more so than others, just be mindful of where your mind is uh, during this month. It, it can be a very hectic time, but I'm feeling like your emotions are in check. It's just mentally you need to make sure that you're um, <sighs> secure. That's what's coming up. So don't let al allow any insecurities to enter your mind. So this is like working on positive self-talk. Um, just being positive about the future because we can talk ourselves into funny places. So again, it's not emotions. It's about mental. So what are what are our thoughts saying? Because our thoughts is what leads is what will lead into some of those um, emotions that we um, can build ourselves up and, and feel full of. So we want to kind of start practicing clearing things through um, mental positive positive thinking. Okay. Here's my kitty as I'm talking about positivity because he's just my little ray of sunshine here. So um, six of pentacles, when it comes to money, you're actually in a very good place. So good balance with money, with people. So uh, just kind of keep keep the gift of giving flowing uh, and you'll and you'll be very successful. I'm, I'm seeing like a flash of the third eye, meaning there are some people that are having really brilliant intuitive ideas could be with gift giving, um, but it's like you're seeing little flashes of hints and clues and lights and stuff. So that's why I was saying working with the imagination this month is also very great. Page of Wands. So uh, again, this is just kind of those little spark, that spark of light and that information coming through. It's saying that um, you guys have really great ideas. So really use them. Make sure that you're taking advantage of uh, your time this month really good energy for you guys. So Page of Pentacles uh, is just saying that even if we can give, we only have so much that we're able to give and then eventually we run out. So just know that um, it's not about pulling back and do not, I'm not saying that, but what it is is having patience with allowing it to come back, okay? So that's the difference, not pulling back, having patience for it to come back because it will, okay? When I say it, I mean like in general, like karma, energy, just finances. If you put out, it will come back to you. If you're positive, positive will come back to you. So creating that uh, that flow, that cycle is so important for you guys. That's that's your, your ticket this month. Knight of Pentacles, this is saying just stick with it. Um, so when it comes to the things that you wanna do, just persevere. Um, there may be a strain for some people and that's okay. It's just saying that as long as you stick to your goals and you set yourself up for success, you will be fine. Just, um, it's like that old story goes, um, if you like, if you sit, nothing will happen. Like you can't just wait on, sometimes like we can't wait on the will of heaven to just do everything. We have to have patience allowing things to manifest and we have to put it out there in order for it to come back. But if we sit on our butts and we're not doing taking any action steps towards our prayers and towards that, that positive thinking, 
then we're like we're not our actions aren't lining up with our words so that's kind of coming through a little bit in order to create flow we have to think positive we have to and this is a lot of work we have to think positive manifest positive things and then we have to do positive things so lining up that um, is so important so I know that you guys are heart really heartfelt people so again don't dra don't be dragging yourselves around making yourselves do things work from your heart this month okay and then that flow will get easier um, Ten of Pentacles, so back to perseverance, back to sticking with your things. Um, this is kind of saying that you have a lot of family support, so you really don't need to worry. So if you're having any fears or any worries this month, family is going to be the ones, the one to support you. I sense a lot of strong family ties and family knits. Um, even if you're sitting down watching Christmas movies together, um, that's a great idea. Uh, I think a lot of people are just, uh, they're thinking so much. So more, less thinking and more taking action on, on, the, on the thought. So it's okay to think. That's where our intuition is right where our third eye is. We get a flash of inspiration and then we, we, we think, oh, this is a great idea. Then we do. That's all you have to do, okay? And I feel like I'm going to do like a class on um, mediumship. I'm not sure... Um, the details yet, yeah, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. So feel free to check out my Facebook page uh, for all that stuff. I don't think I mentioned uh, the reading, a reading that I'm doing at six o'clock this evening. If you're watching this on the 30th on Facebook, it's live. So Queen of Pentacles is saying that um, when it comes to our education and our learning, it's saying that <laughs> this is a strong opinion, but that our education system these days is a little bit faulty. So at the beginning we were talking about children working with kids. What's happening is that the kids need to be constantly learning because they don't sense that they're getting enough from their education. So making sure that as adults that we're constantly teaching, so don't forget to be teaching um, throughout, even in the Christmas holidays, sometimes we, again, we sit with our drinks and then we forget about the kids that they need to be constantly stimulated mentally so four of and i'm not saying that's for everybody but it's just that again general general so four of swords saying that probably around christmas you're going to be feeling a little tired well deserved especially when we're talking about children so um just finding that uh that zen place so that that place where we're feeling high energy but uh not in a hyper way it's like an excited energy that's balanced okay that could be complicated but again it's trusting that that energy will be received by others if sometimes we feel like we need to so although i'm saying it's about taking action sometimes it's about um also like just also like trusting in in the process of of things too. So last card, Ace of Cups. This is saying that we're opening up uh, spiritually as well as emotionally because the more we get to know ourselves, the better life gets. So um, doing all this work will help you. Um, so focusing on some of these details that I'm discussing will truly help you this month. Okay. Thank you so much again. Have an awesome Christmas. Bye.